is platelet clumping, also called pseudothrombocytopenia, because this phenomenon causes the peripheral platelet count to be falsely decreased on an automated CBC. What's happening here is uh, when we collect a CBC, usually it's going to be collected in a tube that has the anticoagulant EDTA in it. Some people will, their platelets will still clump um, in spite of that anticoagulant being present. And so when these clumped groups of platelets pass through the machine, they are not included in the platelet count. And so this is something, this is one reason why it's important to look at a smear when you're working somebody up for thrombocytopenia because you don't want to to misdiagnose them or tell them they have uh, a dangerously low platelet count when really what's going on is a laboratory artifact. There are some conditions in which we think uh, that might be promoting this circumstance. If the patient has a paraprotein. Um, this may interfere with the effect of that anticoagulant when the CBC is collected. But in general, this is not a pathologic finding. This is a laboratory finding. I had highlighted that large cell there with the yellow arrow. That is actually a giant platelet. See how it's almost the size of a red blood cell? And you're going to see platelet clumps on the long edge of the slide, like we can see that we are here, um, or in the feathered edge. Here's more platelet clumping on that same patient. This is a normal appearing neutrophil again. We're on the long edge, so you see there's all kinds of artifact here in the red blood cells, and this neutrophil is kind of squished. Inpatient again, big clump of platelets. This patient's man, uh, this patient's automated platelet count was coming back in the 20s to 30s, but in reality, this patient had a normal platelet count when they were counted out manually. Once you've confirmed that somebody has platelet clumping going on and that's impacting the accuracy of their platelet count on the CBC, you can ask for a manual platelet count. You can also ask that the that that patient every time they have a CBC drawn, they also have um, the platelet count run in a citrated tube. However, um, a certain percentage of patients that clump in EDTA will also clump in citrate, and so you may need to check them in heparin.